Hi there, I'm Joshua and I'm a junior studying data science at UC Berkeley. In 10 minutes, here's everything you need to know about the UC Berkeley data science curriculum. Let's begin. The UC Berkeley data science curriculum is split into three parts, lower division, upper division, and domain emphasis. Let's get started with the lower division. As part of the lower division requirements, there are some classes that you must take. Firstly, Foundations of Data Science, or Data 8. This is an introduction to data science and covers Python. Secondly, CS61A. and CS61B. These are computer science classes and are generally for data science majors the most challenging of the lower division requirements. Next, we have Math 54, Linear Algebra. And before that, Math 1A and 1B, which are calculus classes. We also have a domain emphasis class, but more on that a bit later. All these lower division courses for the data science major must be taken for a letter grade and passed with C- or higher. Unlike the computer science major, there is no GPA cutoff for the data science major. Now let's move on to the upper division requirements. Firstly, Data 100. You can think of Data 100 as advanced data science. This is arguably the most important class in the data science major that will teach you everything from Python, Pandas, NumPy to machine learning. Next, Computational and Inferential Depth. This requirement is seven units, which means you have to take two classes. There's a list of classes linked in the description down below that satisfy this requirement. Next, probability. Students are required to take one course in probability and the most popular course for probability is called Data 140. Next, modeling, learning, and decision making. There are five classes that satisfy this, but the most popular one is Data 102. Finally, we have human context and ethics. The ethics requirement is very important in the curriculum and we have this course to satisfy that requirement. Data C104 is the most popular course taken by data science majors to satisfy the ethics requirement.
That wraps up the upper division requirements and now let's move on to domain emphasis. Data science is an interdisciplinary major, and therefore the UC Berkeley curriculum requires that students take up a domain emphasis, which is a set of courses in another field or another department that allow you to become specialized in a particular domain so that you will be an effective data science practitioner. Some examples of domain emphases include business and industrial analytics, economics, Biology, Cognition, Environment, and many more. There is a long list of courses available to help you satisfy this requirement and it's linked in the description below. Let's end off with some tips for the data science major. For each of these specializations, generally speaking, three courses are required. One of which will be a lower division course and two of which will be upper division courses. It is advised for you to take more than one lower division course for multiple domain emphases. This is because some domain emphases are incredibly difficult to finish. For example, business and industrial analytics is a very popular domain emphasis and it may be very hard to get into the upper division classes required because generally they are reserved for Haas or business students. Therefore, it is advised for you to take multiple lower division domain emphasis classes. For example, you could take one for business, one for economics and one for biology. And you could also explore different interests that way. That is a recommended approach and is a great way to explore the data science major and other intersecting fields. This way, you'll be able to finish your data science major with ease. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment down below any questions you have about anything here and I will answer them. Unfortunately, I was not able to cover everything. For example, Math 54 is not the only course that satisfies the linear algebra requirement. Math 91 does so as well. There are many small tips and tricks and many exceptions to the major, so please comment down below any questions you have and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.